think about the roof over your head or the building that you work in, chances are the bricks were put in place, the girders were put in place by hydraulic systems. It's hidden. I mean, it's in automobiles, it's in aerospace, it's in all the earth moving machines, it's in industrial plants. But most people, if you ask what is fluid power, I don't know. When we started the center, fluid power was a lost art. It was underrepresented as a technology here in the United States. The big advantage of hydraulics is you have the power density, you have the flexibility, you can transfer the energy from the power source to where you need it very easily. Between two and three percent of our nation's energy goes through fluid power. Each percent is worth roughly 20 billion dollars. Nobody prior to the center was really doing pre-competitive research that industry can then transpose into products and services. The CCEFP provides young talent with knowledge and hands-on experience in fluid power. It's a partnership between the universities and the industry. Industry had a need for students, we had a need for technology. The universities were looking to teach their students hydraulic power, and so bringing the two together is really a mutual benefit. The evolution of technology begins at the university, they develop the fundamentals, and then we apply that technology and then put it into commercialization. There's huge opportunities in the healthcare space. There are huge opportunities in the transportation space. The progress that has been made in the area of hybrid vehicles is amazing. Purdue University is working on a hybrid excavator. The fuel economy, it's been improved by 50%. That's unheard of. A crane that reduces energy and makes it more usable and reduces vibrations. The project I'm working on is called the Free Piston Engine. We're able to vary the piston motion during the combustion process, which gives you a huge room of improved efficiency during the engine cycle. A powered orthosis that can really help people walk, providing assistance to persons who otherwise wouldn't be able to get around. We're trying to develop fluids that increase mechanical efficiency of hydraulic motors. If you're a member of the center, you have access to very good students. They're dealing with hydraulics, they're dealing with the instrumentation, they're dealing with the controls. And the new grads coming out of the center have, I would say, equivalent to one to two years of industry experience based on the work that they've been doing at the universities. The amount of opportunities that students are given to interact with industry are tremendous. We have the annual meetings, conference calls with the industry partners, all sorts of different activities that are really fostering this type of networking. The people that I've hired, I've actually worked with or had conversations with them before we hired them. The fluid power industry is at a critical juncture right now. We need to increase innovation at a much more rapid rate than we are today. We need industry to be more involved if we were going to be successful and here for the long term. It would be impractical for most companies to fund this level of research, but together, through the center, we can make those resources go further. For every dollar that we invest, we're getting about a hundred to one payback. If we achieve our goals in compact power supplies, compact energy storage, and more efficient components, it will transform the industry or create an entirely new industry. One of the biggest influences that this center is going to have is going to be the dozens of students that have come through and lives they've touched and people who have veered their careers into this and applied their skills and talents in this direction. I think the CCFP is very prepared to be successful in the future.